Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna to be a pretty quick and easy video where I'm just gonna be going over my favorite Photoshop plugins. And I just wanted to highlight the ones that I really enjoy. Most of these are free, one of them's gonna be paid, but it was it's such like a fun and cool plugin, I couldn't help but leave it out. So that being said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hope this video helps you out and let's get into it. So the first plugin I wanted to show you is actually one that is from Adobe and it's just in the Creative Cloud where you can get it. It's super simple, it's called Watermark 3. So you just go up in here to plugins after you download it. And what this is, is just an easy way to add watermarks to all your work. Basically you would go here, you would choose your source folder. So for the sake of this, I threw some images in a folder. And so you choose your folder and why this is good is because let's say you have like a ton of um, work that you need to watermark and send to a client, like 10 or 50 versions of a logo or an album art or whatever it may be. You can put them all in the folder, select the um, target and source. And then basically you just choose what you're gonna use for like your actual watermark. It could be a logo or a just text that says like proof, anything like that. For me, for example, I'll use like the smiley face. You choose that, it's pretty easy. Choose the size, position, 40 I usually put, or 30 maybe for opacity. If you kind of choose the sizing, for the sake of this, I'm gonna throw it right in the middle and we're gonna put it on large. No, we'll put it on medium. And so it's super simple, you get that ready. All you do is run batch, and it's gonna go in and add the watermark to each one of your images that you have in the folder, and then output basically the whole batch of images with the watermark attached. All right, so it's successful. Then basically you would go in here, you check, all your images are there with the watermark attached. So it's super easy way to watermark images and it helps for making sure clients don't steal the work that you send them. So this next one up is called Peer Ref. And you know how when you're an illustrator, you can have all kinds of reference imagery and whatnot outside of your artboard. For example, we can throw, you know, all these images that we used from the Watermark plugin into Illustrator, right? And Illustrator allows us to place the work wherever we want. And I've always liked that function because it doesn't confine you to work within the specific artboard or turn stuff off. So you can have your stuff all out here like that. And I've always wished that Photoshop had that function. And then I found this plugin that actually allows you to do that called Peer Ref. So I'll put the description, <clears throat> or I'll put the link in the description. And then uh, this one's almost like a separate thing you open up. You can move it around by holding the right click like this. And then using your left click, you can resize the area. And so basically from there, you can drag your images in, zoom out with the scroll wheel, put them in however you like. And let's say you're working on a project, this is kind of your mood board. You can resize some of this stuff, whatever. And it's cool because now you have this here and you can move it around however, whatever you prefer. You can resize it and it just helps with like then you have that reference imagery without actually being in your layer files in Photoshop. So this next one, it kind of goes with the peer reference or peer ref, but it's actually called stock solo. And this is one of my favorite plugins there is. It's a, actually a plugin in Photoshop that allows you to search for stock imagery right within the app. So you go over here, you download it, um, link in the description, stock solo, it'll be up here in your plugins panel. What's cool about this is it searches from some of the popular royalty free sites like Pexels, Unsplash, and uh, Pixabay. And you can actually toggle which ones you want. So let's say you're working on a project and you need um, a sky for something, collage, artwork, whatever. You have it in here and you can just press place and it'll put it right into your artboard. And this is awesome because this allows you to do all this without having to go to Google Chrome. And if you want to refine your search to just unsplash, just go to your settings and then you from there, dog, whatever, whatever you're looking for, get some of these guys in there. It's super helpful and a lot quicker way to use find reference imagery or, or imagery for your work without having to go to Google. 
So this next one is the only paid plugin, but it's really dope and it's from the guys over at Black Market. It's called Reactor. It has a ton of functionality. I'll just show you a little basic overview of what it can do, but check out their channel for a full walkthrough of the entire plugin. Their, their stuff's super cool because it keeps it all within this same panel. It's kind of like its own interface for their apps. All right, so to get started, I'm going to throw this um, tower image that we had in from before. And so what Reactor does is it creates like displacement maps and effects that you can add to your images. And it's like super easy all within this panel. It also has its own unsplash search engine functionality. So basically you have all your PSD displacement maps here. Some of the ones that come with the program, other ones you can search for and add them yourself. Let's say glass broken or <laughs> type that in broken glass. And you want to kind of apply that to this. So see, we have this right here, choose the power and it'll create a cool displacement map. And you have the settings stretch. I usually just keep it pretty simple how it is. And we're not going to animate right now, but play that. It'll apply that to the image and it creates these super cool effects. So as you can see, it messed this all up, displaced it, and you can mess with the power to see how much you want to do. Let's say you just want 50, something a little more subtle. And you can create a lot of cool stuff with this and like the possibilities are, are kind of endless with this uh, plugin. And you can even do things that are a little more like subtle, like uh, water drops. Let's say you want to do something like that, just at 50 power. So pretty simple, but it creates this cool effect. And this plugin is like pretty cheap. It's only like 20, 30 bucks and it's well worth it. You can create a ton of cool stuff with it. I'll show you one more thing you can do with it. So let's throw in a different image just to get something fresh. Here's this pomegranate. All right, and let's do um, cracks, like something like that. So this is cool. And what you can do with this is let's turn the power up to like 150, click animate. I usually like to do like 20 frames per second. And what you wanna do is have your timeline open. So this creates a little video animation. Then just run it. All right, you'll see down here it created a frame animation. And what it does is that shows the process of what's actually happening. So you see it's turning into that super cool like cracked effect. I mean, you can already tell that this stuff is going to have endless possibilities, a bunch of crazy effects. You're going to be able to do all kinds of cool stuff with this. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. Hope this helped you out. Check out the description for all the plugins and hope you have a lot of fun with this stuff. Let me know if you do anything cool with the reactor or how you enjoyed the peer reference or the stock solo. Appreciate all you guys. Check out the Patreon in the description as well as the Discord community. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out and I'll see you guys next time.